boys and girls. It's me, Miss Borges. Today, we're going to be reading a story. And the title of the story is How Do Dinosaurs Say I'm Mad? It's written by Jane Yolen. That's the author. That means she wrote the words. And the illustrator is Mark Teague. That means he drew all the pictures. Before I read our book, let's sing our book song. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up my book. On the front cover, I see a giant dinosaur. And look at his mom. It looks like her finger's pointing up at him, like she's saying something. On the back cover, I see the dinosaur with a little cat. Let's turn it back to the front cover and let's read our story. How do dinosaurs say I'm mad. Look at all of the different dinosaurs stomping and throwing their body on the ground. How do dinosaurs say I'm mad? Uh oh. This dinosaur looks like he's jumping up and down. He's not a happy dinosaur. How does a dinosaur act when he's mad? Does he roar, slam the door, yell at mom or at dad? Look at this dinosaur so mad. He slammed the door and he's yelling at his dad. When he can't get his way, does he boast? I'll be bad. Is that what dinosaurs say when they are mad? Uh-oh. I can see the chair and the bookshelf. He pushed them over. When Papa says no, does he grumble and pout? Arr! When Mama says no, does he throw toys about? Dinosaur throwing all of his toys across the room. We do not do that when we're mad, do we? When he's told to sit still, does he kick at a chair? I can see the chair flying. It's flying in the air. Does he act as if his mother and father aren't there? Hmm. Look at, he's ignoring his mom and dad like he doesn't see them. When he hears, take a nap, does he give dirty looks? When he's told, quiet down, shh, does he rip up his books? Oh no, ripping up books is not a good choice. And giving a dirty look, that means you're saying something not nice with your face. Hmm, a dirty look or a mean stare. It's you're using your face instead of words. And sometimes giving mean looks is not nice. No cookies today. Fling a mug at the cat. Oh no. If there isn't a cookie, we never hurt animals. We never throw things at our cats or dogs. Never, not even when we're mad. 
time for bed. Does he bang on the floor with a bat? Oh no. Mom and dad say it's time for bed. We don't get mad. And we don't bang things with bats. You could hurt yourself or break something or even hurt someone else. Mm. No, a dinosaur doesn't. He counts up to 10, then after a timeout, breathes calmly, and then. So sometimes when you're feeling mad, you can take a deep breath, push it out, and you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you've taken a good breath and you've counted. He cleans up his mess and he picks up the mug. He's putting everything back where it goes. The books on the bookshelf. He's picking up the mug, the cup he threw. He says, I'm so sorry. He gives a big hug. And sometimes when we get mad and we stomp our feet or we yell at mom and dad, we can say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. And give a hug to mom and dad to say, I'm sorry. His anger is gone. So he opens the door. There he is coming out of his bedroom. I see his mom and his sister in the hallway. Not mad. I'm so glad. Little dinosaur. And there he is giving mom a hug again. Boys and girls, sometimes we do get mad. Sometimes we might stomp our feet or give a face that doesn't look nice or yell at our moms or dads. But we can stop. We can take a deep breath. We can count. And then we can think about what we're supposed to do. And it's always nice to say, I'm sorry, or give a hug when we have done something not nice to another person because we got angry. All right, friends, everybody gets mad. We just have to remember to stop, breathe, and think about what we're doing. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye, boys and girls.